Branch Collective, Parallax Productions. There's a story I've been told from my childhood. It takes place in a doctor's office. During a regular checkup, the doctor asked me, What do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor, I said confidently. He laughed, watching me pirouette around his office. Are you sure? I thought about it, and I corrected my answer. I'll be a dancing doctor. <laughs> he laughed even more. It didn't seem funny to me. The drive to Toronto from our home on Lake Nipissing takes about four hours. In a snowstorm, it can take longer. And this time, hurrying to scary medical tests. With the stressful possibility of a cancer diagnosis looming overhead. After two years, isolating during a pandemic because I'm immune compromised from cancer treatments I did years ago. Well, that drive, that felt like an eternity. We'd packed up quickly and left our place at the lake. I thought about those still waters. That's where we had isolated during the pandemic. It was lonely and challenging, but we knew we were lucky to have such a place to be. I helped the kids do virtual school. And to keep our spirits up, we discovered the joys of dancing outside. In fact, we even became a little famous for it. A woman and her family in the North Bay area are dancing their way through the pandemic. In this dance of life, I kept moving, even, even though things were getting harder. Rushing back to Toronto for an emergency medical test. Family members with urgent medical needs. Processing loss and grief on different levels. We were almost completely broken down and then hit with the culture shock of being in a city in a hospital alone so many waiting rooms so many worrying thoughts Thinking of all we'd been through, wondering what lay ahead. And I was reminded how it feels when I move, when I dance, how it brings me back into the moment. And so I made this silly video of myself dancing alone, scared in the doctor's office. Three weeks later, I came back to that video and I danced along with myself. Knowing then that those tests had shown the tumor on my ovary to be benign and treatable from surgery. Even though that first time in the hospital I did not know this news, I was able to go back and share it. Dancing along with different parts of myself from different times felt really healing and so I kept doing it to dance along with that lonely me in the doctor's office <sighs> healing is not the sign of some kind of failure it's just proof that we're human it's not a break from life or a detour, but it's just an essential part of life. 
Tending, mending, defending. The dance of repair is never ending. It's all about befriending all the places where we're alive. So we can thrive, sustain, and survive. What does your dance of repair look like? How does it make you move? Who dances with you? Which moments do you connect with when you find yourself in the flow of your own creative expression? There's no one answer to these questions. There's no one dance of repair, of life itself, of healing. That's what makes it fun. It's what makes it playful. Everyone's dance is made up of all the different parts of your life. The challenging, the joyful, everything in between. And the music for your life dance comes from putting all those pieces together. Don't let anyone stop you from fully being in the dance of your life. It's your birthright, and it's what the world needs. <laughs>